टेलीविजन स्टैचुटरी प्रोविजन पर्टेनिंग टू लैंड एक्विजेशन एक्विजेशन कंपनी रजिस्ट्रेशन इक्विपमेंटल assessment and infrastructure development have been relaxed and simplified we have already started online registration and payment system which will soon be upgraded to full automation system we will actively pursue bilateral investment pro- protection agreements with friendly countries that will further ensure protection for foreign investment we will also pursue negotiations on avoidance of double taxation with interested countries to provide their further incentives the next reform cycle would involve policies and comprehensive legislation in the field of intellectual property rights commensurate with our rights and obligation under various multilateral instruments ladies and gentlemen nepal is one of the most flexible countries when it comes to economic policy and welcoming foreign investment all sectors bearing a narrow box of sensitive areas are open for foreign investment and we allow 100% investment in almost all areas we offer an attractive incentive package in terms of co- corporate taxation import duties and export facilities tax rates are predictable and tax holidays are guaranteed by the law for those industries that meet the established criteria we have huge demographic dividend with about 75 no 57% of population representing the working age group the labor cost is competitive and low and there is a good pool of english speaking population especially among amongst the youngsters we have developed policies and programs to enable our youth to be imbued with multi skills qualified and skilled manpower available at reasonable cost locally will make your investment last less costly we have maintained sound macroeconomic indicators and hence investing in nepal is risk free an independent judiciary capable of adjudicating industrial and investment related disputes on a tax fast track basis has been a ministry of our legal system dear friends the other key area is infrastructure building infrastructure is the government's priority and our commitment is well reflected in the progress we are making in the sector of vital infrastructures in terms of infrastructure we are far better than before almost around the clock electricity supply has been guaranteed for industries and the country will soon witness power sur- surplus road connections within the country and across border connectivity have improved substantially the strategic kathmandu tarai fast track that was just a dream a few years back is now becoming a reality our special economic zones have both infrastructure and other amenities to set up industries one such says a special economic zone is already in operation while several others have been planned and being developed in different parts of the country the special 
Economic Zone Authority Act has also been revised recently to make the conditions of investment and operation of industries in the special economic zones more promising. Since Nepal has established a federal system of governance, our aim is to undertake a balanced development approach so that all the provinces get fair opportunity for the development of their industrial base with foreign investment. Guided by this spirit, we have decided to establish at least one industrial state in his province. Likewise, with a view to promoting the small and medium-sized enterprises, we intend to establish one industrial village in each local level. Dear friends, investors know better than others about the importance of location. Nepal's strategic location between the world's two largest markets with increasing purchasing power, China and India, serve as a compelling indicative for investment. Nepal enjoys access to both markets on preferential terms. With India, we have duty-free arrangements for most of our products, both primary and industrial goods, while China has granted a significant number of our tariff lines duty-free access to its market. Beyond neighborhood, expo export from Nepal is entitled to various kinds of duty-free and preferential schemes put in operation by both developed and developing countries, trade partners for the group of least developed countries. Size of our domestic market is also expanding, along with the growth of middle class population and people's purchasing power. The connectivity disadvantage Nepal has had its gradually dissipating because of our efforts for connectivity, diversification, as well as support from our friendly neighbors. Road, rail, waterways, airways, and transmission ways are covered within the framework of multidimensional connectivity network with both of our neighbors. Likewise, port facilities have improved. Just two years ago, Nepal started to utilize Bajag port in India for its trade and transit. Availability of modern alternative port has helped reduce hassles and crowded Kolkata Haldia port. Digital tracking and transshipment systems, both introduced recently, has eased the transportation process. A new transit route through the use of inland waterways is under progress. This will not only provide an alternative transit route, but it will also connect landlocked Nepal to the sea through the waterways. Transit procedures are being simplified through the use of modern technology, and this will surely reduce the cost of business. We have signed transport transit agreement with our northern neighbor, China, and a protocol to the agreement will be signed soon. This will enable Nepal also to use Chinese territory and port facilities for its international trade and transit. Dear friends, I have been telling our friends, and I will reiterate here today as well, that Nepal is almost a virgin land as far as investment is concerned. Investment is every in every sector, and every field is profitable. When it comes to investment, 
hydropower could be a prime choice. There are other potential areas, agriculture, manufacturing, tourism, infrastructure, information technologies, mines, and minerals, to name a few. Our target is to generate 3,000 megawatt power in three years, 5,000 megawatt in five years, and 15,000 megawatt in 10 years. While domestic consumption will gradually increase with our rapid industrialization drive, the prospect of regional electricity market is also coming to fruition with a positive initiative recently taken by India. We are also working on the infrastructure foundation of cross-border transmission lines. A robust master plan for such transmission line requirement is already with us. This will guide our future course of action. The recently concluded MOU on Bimstick grid interconnection has opened up the possibility for cross-border power trade in Bimstick region. Nepal and Bangladesh have also signed the MOU on power trade. These developments make Nepal's hydropower more and more investment worthy. Converting water into wealth is therefore a not to be missed opportunity. Tourism is another important sector for investment. Nepal has massless natural beauty and incredible cultural treasures. Natural and cultural diversity make Nepal a tourist paradise around the year. We are celebrating the year 2020 as Visit Nepal Year. We seek investment for upgrading tourism infrastructure, including hotels and resorts. Agriculture has huge potential for development. We have to move from subsistence level agriculture to commercial one by its modernization, which requires huge investment. We want to enhance productivity of agriculture, but reduce people's dependence on it. Given Nepal's topography and climate setting, we can develop organic farming system with products of high export potentials. Dear friends, my government is not only a stable government with two-third majority in the parliament. It is also a government with a clear vision and objective for the development of this country. Devising economic policy, the government is not moving alone. Private sector has been taken on board as an indispensable partner in the journey for economic transformation. Before I conclude, I would like to share with you that development agenda and foreign investment enjoy national consensus in Nepal. All political forces in the parliament stand together to invite and encourage foreign investment. My message to you all is Nepal is ready for business and investment. We welcome your investment. Feel secure and seize the moment. Our investment will be protected and your profit will be guaranteed. We do not want any further delay in our journey towards prosperity. SPD and comprehensive development is the only option and call of the hour for us. Please join hands in our drive to make Nepal prosperous and the Nepali people happy. We highly value your support and solidarity. I wish you a pleasant stay in Nepal and the summit all success. Thank you all.
थैंक यू वेरी मच